more. The annual Scripps National Spelling Bee kicks off this week just outside of Washington, D.C., and this year's competition includes the youngest speller ever on record. Her name is Lorianne Madison, and Kristen Volk sat down with this pint-sized girl who can spell big words. A-N-T-I-D-I-S. It's a 12-syllable word. A-B-O-I-S-H. That's hard enough to pronounce. And to disestablishmentarianism. Let alone spell. A-R-I. But for Lorianne Madison. Yeah, so that one's easy. At just six years old, Madison is headed to the Scripps National Spelling Bee this week. The youngest speller ever on record to qualify for the annual event. No, I'm not nervous at all. I've been in competitions with older kids before. Her first B competition was when she was just three and a half. How did she do it? Just read books, read words out of books. I was going to say read books out of words. I know that's ridiculous. And the dictionary? That's just child's play to her. The collegiate is easy. Uh, all of these are easy too. All of these are easy because there's a lot of English and Latin and Greek. Roots? How many hours a day do you put in? Not even one. Not even one, but when I have a chance, I just I do it. I mean, come on, every six-year-old wants to play. The homeschooled girl from Woodridge, Virginia, says she can't explain why she admires spelling so much. Yep, there's just something there that I love. But her enthusiasm for it is obvious. It's lowercase, but I just needed anything at that point. Especially for her all-time favorite word. Which means love of words, just like I have. Reporting from Washington, I'm Kristen Volk. So, most six year olds can spell a few words, maybe read fairly well. On Friday, six year old Lori Ann Madison won her way into the Scripps Howard National Spelling Bee. And that's why she is only six years old. Tonight, Fox Files Paul Rafael went head to head with the tiny champ. <laughs> Z-A-T-U-E-R-O, Correct. Applause and cheers filled the auditorium at Mills E. Godwin Middle School in Dale City, Virginia, when six-year-old Lori Ann Madison won the 34th Prince William County Spelling Bee. She was very excited about winning the competition. It's hard to put it in words, really. But at the least, I felt great. She beat out 21 of the best spellers from elementary and middle schools in Prince William County, Virginia. And she said being the youngest competitor didn't bother her. I was confident because I've been in spelling bees with older kids before. And I judge them by who they are and not about age. And she thinks the reason she's such a good speller is her hard work. My parents quiz me, I read lists, and I have a really good memory. During the competition, her parents seemed to be more nervous than she was. We were so proud of her. I think it was harder for us than it was for her, because she was really uh, spelling word after word, and we were all almost having a heart attack. And <laughs> because it's really hard to see your child up there. And since older competitors did not intimidate her, we thought we'd test her spelling skills in our studio. The first word is okapi. Okapi. O-K-A-P-I. Okapi. That's correct. Your first word is tourniquet. Tourniquet. T-E-R-N-I- C-A-T. Not even close. Uh. <laughs> Metacarpal. M-E-T-A-C-A-R-P-A-L. Metacarpal. That's correct. Lozenge. L-A-U-S- O-N-E. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Embarrassing. E M B A R R A S S I N G embarrassing. That's correct. Paul? <laughs> oh, Paul. <laughs> yeah, okay. So please tell me you did that because you're just giving her a shot, right? Um, right? I wish I could say that, but admittedly going into this, I told everyone I was a very, <laughs> very bad speller. Okay. And I think I proved that in the competition that I did. I tell you, you are a good sport, but I gotta say, in all fairness, she has one poised oh, little girl. Oh my goodness, yes, very smart. Yeah. And I think they were sending me a message in the end when they had her spell embarrassing. Yeah. That was just, kind just of a my little bit. That's okay. <laughs> That's I know what we can spell success because that girl has it written all over her. Yes, definitely. And we wish her luck in the yeah. national spelling bee. It's at the, uh, I think it's 
May 29th and June 1st are the two days. Sounds so good. So good luck. Yeah, good luck to her. And uh, thanks for being a sport with that story. <laughs> look forward. <laughs> you probably start, for you, Paul Rafal. just start reading Stat. the dictionary a little bit. Something. Yeesh. All right. I'm going to turn now to a six-year-old girl making history. She is the youngest person ever to qualify for the Scripps National Spelling Bee. And Josh is back. This is already my favorite story. She's awesome. Me. And for an OCD grammarian, it's doubly <laughs> awesome. Her mother says her first book was Dr. Seuss's Pop on Pop, which Lori Ann read at the tender age of two. Now she is the youngest person ever to qualify for the Spelling Bee, setting a record for the contest's 87-year history. Look, Even though most of the contestants she's facing are twice her age, the one word you won't hear Lori Ann Madison spelling this morning is F E A R. I'm not scared. Definitely not scared. At just six years old, she's the youngest contestant to ever qualify for Wednesday's Scripps National Spelling Bee. I'm not really excited, like, eh, I'm going to the National Spelling Bee. I'm more like, it's fine. A shocking feat for most children her age, but not surprising for a little girl who's been reading since the age of two, telling us in March. I like to read every single bit of fantasy, mythology, and dragons. In fact, Lorianne hasn't just been reading, she's been competing in spelling bees since three. That's her, three years ago, barely able to reach the mic, but holding her own. After a gifted program told her parents she was just too advanced to attend, her mother, a professor, began homeschooling her. And while she says she's a regular kid, I have a pretty normal life I'd like to play. She's also an avid swimmer who one day wants to grow up to be. I want to be an astrobiologist because I like astronomy and biology. I also am aiming to be in the swimming part of the Olympics. But for now, she's setting her sights on just making it past tomorrow's first round. I'm hoping I'll make it into the semifinals and I'm really, really hoping a decent, nice, big size trophy. We are all going to be working for her someday. We are all going to be working for her someday. You guys, re regarding all the media attention she's been receiving, this is terrific. Lori Ann says this, and I do quote, I ask for no interviews, but the media seems to be disobeying me. <laughs> D-I-S-O-B-E-Y-I-N-G. Yes, we are. Ding. Yes, it did. Yes. Well, oh, but she's so well-rounded. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Well, but yeah, that. she's going to be a gold medalist after she wins the spelling. <laughs> She goes to Pluto and back, right? Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll be watching. Oh, it's we'll like our, my near future, I'm terrified. A new spell, Prodigy. That's what six-year-old Lori Ann Madison is. She's the youngest person ever to qualify for the Scripps National Spelling Bee. The homeschooled child beat out 21 other kids in her Virginia County to advance to the national competition. Honestly, it's not as big, and I'm not really excited, like, hey, I'm going to the National Spelling Bee. I'm more like, uh, it's fine. Well, yeah, good for her. Madison will be competing against 277 other kids, of course, in that contest. It starts on Wednesday. The winner will be awarded several prizes, including $30,000 in cash. When she's not spelling sophisticated words, Madison enjoys playing Angry Birds and debating with her parents. She is going to be a handful when she becomes she a teenager. She is a handful already. <laughs> C B. We see a B. C B three. Now we th see three. Uh oh, those bees are gonna bite them. Sting them. Thanks.